A month ago, the day after Christmas, we celebrated the feast of St. Stephen. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and according to the Acts of the Apostles, Stephen was a deacon who witnessed to Jesus and preached about him, and as a result, was stoned to death in Jerusalem. A Pharisee named Saul stood by watching and guarding the cloaks that those who stoned him had taken off in order to better heave the stones. He heartily approved of this violence and not long afterwards was on his way to Damascus to round up other Christians. On the way, Jesus appeared to him, blinded him, and spoke to him asking Saul why he was being persecuted. Thus began the conversion of the persecutor Saul into the fervent believer and missionary St. Paul. And today we're celebrating a feast in remembrance of this great conversion. But did that conversion mean Paul never had to struggle again? That he had it all together? No. Years later, writing to the church in Rome, Paul said, What I do, I do not understand. For I do not do what I want, but I do what I hate. The willing is ready at hand, but doing the good is not. For I do not do the good I want, but I do the evil I do not want. Then, admitting his total helplessness, he showed the Romans, and us as well, that things are not hopeless. He wrote, Miserable one that I am, who will deliver me? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. I find that so consoling. You and I, like Paul, are on a journey we may experience profound spiritual experiences, conversions, if you will, but that doesn't mean we'll never have to struggle again. We will. But thanks be to God, we have a Savior to whom we can turn at any given moment.